all new at 10 tonight. We're hearing from the mother of a teen murdered by his father in a contentious custody battle. ABC 4's Courtney Johns has more on how she's remembering her son and the bill she believes could have saved her son's life. It's all in tonight's Justice Files. Leah Moses says she knew not everyone would be on board with this bill, especially those that profit off of long custody battles like the one her family went through for 13 years. But she couldn't believe it when she learned who exactly was speaking out against it. Hardly anyone asked about him, so thank you. Leah Moses says her son's name, Ulm, fit him perfectly. I mean, his name means peace. It's something her family desperately wanted, but instead she spent years in court over custody, fighting her ex, Parth Gandhi, a man who terrified her. A lot of the professionals that worked with us said, you know, this situation is so bad, this is really the worst we've ever seen. In fact, it's so bad that we really believe that your kids are just gonna have to age out. And then, you know, I mean, Ohm aged out. Gandhi murdered Ohm and took his own life Mother's Day weekend. I think I kind of imagine that, you know, in maybe some final moments that he really did step in, that he stepped in to protect me, to protect his sister, and anyone else who could have been, you know, involved. Hoping to help other families, Leah is backing HB 272, also known as Ohm's Law. It's codifying what we already have in statute to keep kids safe. And then it's limiting testimony to experts who really understand domestic violence and control and abuse. And then it's also making sure we're only involving families in safe treatments. And then the last part I think is actually the most important, and that's that there's continued education and enhanced education for decision makers. While many victim advocate groups support the bill, some law offices are opposing it, including attorney Scott Weiser, a man who was involved in Gandhi's custody case. We reached out to Weiser, who said he's been working with state leaders on an updated version of the bill and was hesitant to comment on it. In an email, he states he was hired to consult Gandhi when the parties were undergoing a custody evaluation in 2021, ending the email writing, the subsequent news story about what happened between between them a year later came as a kick in the gut, as you might imagine. In fact, it was actually heartbreaking that they would step in and do that. As she walks along the Capitol, Leah is reminded of what her son asked her when he was just five years old. When did the kids get a chance to talk? Giving her son the voice he never had. Ohm gave me the greatest gift, I think, that he could by standing up and standing in between, and now we have freedom because of him. I, I'd rather have him here. Fueled by the love she will always have for him. And I think that if this, if the language of this bill had been in place and professionals had actually followed it, Ohm would be here with us right now. This bill is based off of a federal act, also known as Caden's Law, which was in memory of a young girl who was murdered by her father during a custody battle. Now, you can learn more about Caden's Law by going to our website, abc4.com. For The Justice Files, I'm Courtney Johns.